my friends have said that I should do some comedy because I crack them up at work. I'm just a joke. <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a wing. On my ride home, we're going to call this driving with Sarah. And my first edition, I have got to say, as much as in the beginning, whether you like it or not, I like Trump. I thought he was going to really do some fabulous things. And in the last little bit, he's gone a little cuckoo for Coco Puff. Um, first up, he, uh, he retweet. He, first thing he needs to say on Twitter. Oh my gosh, Melania needs to block Twitter from the, from the White House computers. It needs to happen. Because he gets up in the middle of the night and starts making some stuff up. Um, for example, well, not only just making stuff up, he tweets things he should not be tweeting. So, um, the other day, some conspiracy theorist guy, I don't know his name, tweeted something to the effect of that Israel just loves Trump. Trump is the king of Israel and equivalent to the second coming of God. Equivalent to the second coming of God. Did you hear what he said? Oh, bless a little crazy man. So what does Trump do? You know what? That sounds great. I'll retweet it. If someone equivalent equivalents you, sorry, I'm saying it wrong. Acts like you are God. No, crazy crazy people, okay? You are not king of Israel. You are not the second coming of God. And why would you think that's okay to retweet? Do not repeat. No. Oh my gosh. And he doesn't see anything wrong with this. I mean, it's like pumpkin. No. No. Just no. These are not wise decisions, oh great president of the United States. And to make things worse, what was that, like last week, two weeks ago? There's a story that's come out that I saw on the BBC News that Trump said at some big meeting that his idea to get rid of the hurricanes is to hit, blow up a nuclear bomb. That'll divert the direction of the hurricane or destroy the hurricane. How the hell are you going to nuke a hurricane? Now, of course, he's denying he has said that, but, I mean, a lot of people are like, he said it, now he's trying to take it back, but, and they're saying it's not the first time he has said it, that in 2017, he suggested that they bomb a hurricane. Number one, how can you bomb a hurricane? Ain't you ever put your hand through fog? <laughs> it won't work. You go through it. Number two... I mean, it, yeah, it'll probably divert the direction of the hurricane. I'll give you that. You set up a nuclear bomb off the coast of Africa, that hurricane might move a bit. But, you know, you might also kill all the ocean life in the Atlantic Ocean. Which, on the bright side, then we don't have to... <laughs> We don't have to worry about these plastics or straws anymore killing these whales and sea turtles because they won't be there. So Starbucks can go back to giving me my straw. So, I mean, if you're a fan of plastic straws, this might be the plan for you. God bless and Trump at this point is like, you can't make this stuff up. The stupid, I mean, do you just, is that spray tan getting to your head and starting to uh, eat away at your brain cells? The Cheeto in Chief. I think that orange spray tan's starting to get to you just just a tiny bit because the crap that's coming out of your mouth is not No. And he's not even drunk. Like this is some ranting and raving to some drunk person at three o'clock in the morning at some bar in New York City is like, you know, I have the greatest idea. We're gonna get rid of hurricanes by nuking them. As well as half the population of the earth. So, as much as I love Trump, I used to love Trump, he has gone off the crazy deep end. So, my very first driving with Sarah is, I guess, the, uh, the roast of the Cheeto in Chief.